informatique et audiovisuelle de changer la bande d'enregistrement pour l'audience. Donc, nous allons faire une pause de quelques instants. Permettez-moi, et je m'adresse à la partie civile, de nous excuser. The President, Mr. Simone, you can continue with your statement. Je vous, je vous invite à poursuivre Monday, thank you, votre Mr. déposition. Monsieur At that time, Monday, my family as a whole, à including myself, toute ma famille et moi-même, Upon hearing the news, our hope is quoted that my younger brother was arrested and killed. So then we held a ceremony, a traditional ceremony to pray for his soul. And at that time, there was no man yet. Only the other villagers were invited to participate in the ceremony. No currency was circulated at the time. Tony Rice was used as a means of exchange to buy goods for the ceremony. We pray for the souls of the two brothers, and it has been held annually, especially during the Kyumbon and Khmer New Year period. C'est-à-dire pendant le Nouvel An Khmer. We have been holding the ceremony with little hope that they are still alive. Et nous tenions la cérémonie, cette cérémonie the avec l'espoir que nos deux frères étaient toujours en vie. La situation à l'époque était toujours Khmer Rouge instable, did not et take place car yet. L les Khmer so Rouges n'étaient pas encore intégrés. Donc il est vraisemblable As que mes parents, qui ont été exécutés, et mes parents, qui sont des personnes âgées, étaient children. désespérés désespérés d'avoir perdu leurs enfants. And they were traumatized. Ils ont été traumatisés. And both of them now have chronic disease. Et mes deux parents And as a result, souffrent de maladies chroniques actuelles. Et l'un après l'autre sont décédés. In late 2007 or early 2008, Ngum On, Nim a deputy chief of Rokatom village in the same sub-district, brought us a magazine searching for the truth. He showed us the magazine, but I did not pay my attention Moi, to the exact publication or serial number of that magazine. De ce magazine. I saw the name of Sing Hon mailed in Kyribantia Ypres Prasop, Krochet Province, age 25 years old, was arrested on the 2nd of October 1977. 1977. And upon reading that news, à la lecture et I was de cette nouvelle, extremely shocked. J'ai été bouleversé à stand. Je ne pouvais pas rester debout. So Je n'ai pas pu rester debout. Je me suis tombé. Parce qu'en 1983, j'ai rencontré Phnom Penh pour ma surgerie. Et mes relatives m'ont emmené pour visiter le Tulsi Genocide Museum. Euh, subir une opération de chirurgie globulaire et on m'a emmené à euh, Twalslang. We went there, we saw nous the remnants et nous of the barbarity and cruelty left by that de regime. La et de la cruauté du régime. Upon receiving that news, I subsequently informed my younger siblings, and they felt shocked, and they felt the pain for the suffering inflicting upon my younger brother. Since then, I could not sleep well. I 
dreamt of him. Sometimes I had like a walking dream to see him calling us for help, but we were not able to help him. And my memory was not stable. I felt undecided in doing anything. And later on, there was a magazine published publishing about the suffering and the trauma by those people who lost their relatives, brothers, sisters, parents during that regime to apply to join the proceedings before this ECC through the open, in, open Democratic Institution, KID, and then subsequently the application was sent to the victims unit. I lodged my application at the time. And the KID invited me to Phnom Penh to fill in additional forms. And I was accompanied to look for further documents at the DC Camp Center and at the Tootsline Genocidal Museum. And indeed, I found certain documents. And effectivement, j'ai trouvé un certain nombre, certains documents. On the cover of his file, the number is 576, Sing Ton Elis Ta. But the spelling in Khmer is a bit different, although the pronunciation in English is the same. Sing Ton Elis Ta. He was uh, an assistant of the battalion 60701. Brigade 601, and he was arrested on the on the second in 77, and there were two records of his confessions in that folder. In the first record, the name was also incorrectly spelled, but on the next two pages. The name appeared to be correct. The interrogators, there were three of them, namely Korn, Pon, Heng, and Hong. The record was made on the 28th of October 77, and it was reported on the 5th of November 77. According to the examination of this document, he implicated 34 other people. By seeing this document, it made me, it gave me more pain, and I felt pitiful for my younger brother. I felt shocked, moved. Stuck. And my tears dropped. I was speechless. Later on, I could speak and I said, indeed, my brother was killed at Dulslein. After participating in the proceedings before this chamber on many occasions, my feeling has become better in the hope that justice is being found for my brother. And I would pray for his soul to detach from this world and to find a peaceful world. Brother Pon, I truly believed that you are here to listen to the proceedings before this chamber because 
this afternoon I prayed to you to come here and to participate in the proceedings so that you can witness and hear and that I have attempted to find the justice for the criminal act committed upon you. So may your soul receive the peace and that you rest in peace. Thank you, Mr. President. Toi-même, allez en paix. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. The President. The President. The Chamber would like to give the opportunity Chambre to the Civil Party Council to put additional questions if there is any. Supplementary. Thank you. <coughs> thank you, Mr. President. Je vous remercie, First, uh, President. Thank you very much, Mr. Singh Van for this very moving and beaucoup, very emotional and, uh, statement that you have given. And, uh, émouvante. I would like to put uh, some questions, very few questions to you. De la déclaration um, que vous avez présentée. Can you describe what is your feeling um, having such an incomplete family that du fait left for you qu'il ne vous reste qu'une famille très incomplète your brother, suite à la perte Pon. de votre frère Siang Pon. Siang Pon. I would like to express my feeling toward my younger brother. Naturally, brothers are always close. So when the two brothers disappeared, my feeling, I had a feeling of being despaired, of hopelessness, the separation was la indescriptible. Séparation a eu un effet difficilement descriptible. I felt weak. Je me suis senti faible. And the pain, and the pain not only inflicted upon me, but also upon my parents until they became seriously ill and passed away. So the loss of the brothers were the greatest loss and suffering upon the family. In addition to this, I've been trying to find justice for my brothers, and that my and that the soul would be peaceful and detach from this world and move on to the next peaceful world. Dans un monde, dans un autre Thank monde you. Um, paisible. Mr. Siang-Landi, you have already heard in uh, Question. during Monsieur your Siang attendance Vandy, vous avez in these hearings uh, the apologies of the accused. Um, par what is your opinion related opinion? in relation to your sufferings? Um, par rapport what is your à vos opinion on these apologies Quelle est votre opinion of the, of the accused? Des excuses de l'accusé. Seeing one day, thank you, Madame Council. Je vous remercie, Maître. Every time I attend the hearing, the Accused always acknowledge his guilt before the public. He put his hands together before the television to show the world. This is a part on, on his action to relieve our 
suffering. However, the crimes cannot be forgiven. It can only be judged by the tribunal and by the constitution and the law of the chamber. En application des lois appliquées par la Chambre. I'm not clear, Mr. Simon. Did you con want to continue, or uh, was your answer complete? Mark, <coughs> Singh that is the response uh, to your question. Thank you very much. La partie civile, oui, effectivement. La Sosinski, je vous remercie, je n'ai pas d'autres questions. Mais il y a des questions que M. Sien Vandi souhaite poser à l'accusé. Et une question est liée the first page of the confession, la and I page would uh, aveux, like to ask uh, Mr. President uh, for leave to <coughs> advise the uh, AV to show a document with the ERN so um, that Le document figurant la cote 0017-38-81 so uh, so de manière à ce uh, que la partie civile, M. Sengvendi, puisse poser document, sa question qui porte sur the, uh, ce document et que cette question puisse être posée à l'accusé. Le Président, le Président, Court officer, can you change the headset for this civil party? Can you change the écouteurs de cette de la partie civile? The President, Court Officer, the President. can you show the document 00173881 on the screen? Vouloir afficher à nos écrans le document figurant la code 0017-3881. The President, Mr. Sien Van Di, what questions would you like to ask the accused? You can put the questions through the President of the Chamber and then it can be conveyed to the accused. Cette question peut ensuite être communiquée et nous pouvons ensuite demander à l'accusé de répondre à cette question. President. My first question. La civile. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Ma première question est la suivante. Does the accused know the name Sien Pon alias Pa? Le nom de Sien Pon alias Pa. As a detainee at S21. Connaît-il cette personne en tant que the president, prisonnier à S21. The accused, can you respond to this civil party question? question posée par la partie civile? The accused, Mr. President, Monsieur le Président, this document clearly states that because I would not know 
more than 10,000 people who diminished there, but I recognize by this document. The President, Mr. Singh Wanli, please move on to your second question. Singh Wanli, thank you. Mr. President, my question number two, regarding the confessions of Singh Pon alias Pa, who is my brother, did you read and annotate that confession? The President, the President, the accused, can you respond to the question Monsieur of this civil party? Monsieur l'accusé, pouvez-vous répondre Maybe, à la question uh, the, posée par la partie civile Maybe now uh, show the document on the Maître screen and uh, maybe the greffier could read out the annotation on this document. Uh, demander au uh, greffier de lire le document après qu'il ait été affiché sur nos écrans. Quand the president, the council, can you state clearly your intention, which portion of the con of that document you want it to be read out, or you want the entire confession to be read out? Thank you, Mr. President. No, I want to clarify. Uh, it is the first page, uh, and that is exactly the ERN number that uh, I have read out, and the document was already uh, on the screen, but uh, disappeared now. And it is uh, from this first page, um, the handwritten, uh, all the handwritten, sorry, but uh, the uh, annotation, uh, and which must mean uh, one copy for uh, brother. Um, that is the center of this page, and then one copy for brother Noon to deliver to the central zone, and then follows the date, uh, 11th of November, 77. Uh, and this uh, part uh, should be read out and then translated. I'm sorry, I cannot uh, say it in, uh, in Khmer, but, uh, and I would like that then the accused uh, answers to the question of Mr. Sian Van D uh, regarding to this um, part of the confession. And that is what I want. Thank you. C'est ce que je souhaite. Je vous remercie. The president, the accused, responded clearly to the question, so there is no need for the chamber to ask the accused to respond again. Of course, the request for the annotation to be read is possible, is granted. Court officer, can you project that document again? The president, the president, the graph here. Can you read the writing on the document shown on the screen? This is in addition to what has been said by the civil party in order to satisfy the civil party council. And if you cannot read it out, report to the chamber so that the chamber can instruct the council to read it by herself. The graphier, record, confession of Singh Pon alias Pa, a farmer before arrested, assistant of the Battalion 701, Division 174, Central Zone. The annotation is illegible. 
the president, uh, the president civil party counseled it cannot be read and i myself cannot read it what do you want to propose next but the chamber already instructed you that the accused clearly acknowledge this is the document from s21 Thank you, Mr. President. I only would like to uh, clarify then uh, the question to be put uh, from Mr. Sieng Vendi to uh, concerning this annotation and to be put to the accused so uh, that the accused uh, should be asked if he can read and recognize what uh, Est-ce qu'il peut lire, est-ce qu'il peut reconnaître la notation qui figure sur cette page et si il le sait, um, qui a apporté cette annotation qu'est-ce que cette uh, annotation veut, veut dire hein, si l'accusé le sait C'est ce que M. Siang Vandi voulait savoir. Donc, Siang Vandi, the president, the president Mr. Singh Vandi, is the statement made by your counsel is what you want? Ce que vient de dire votre avocate, est-ce que cela correspond à ce que vous souhaitez? But I do not hear what you said regarding this matter Je when you spoke to us in the Khmer language. So what is Khmer. your intention okay. in reading the writing on the screen? I want exactly Donc, what you lutte, what your intention is. Can you tell the chamber? Qu'on donne lecture de cette annotation. Pouvez-vous nous expliquer l'objectif? Si hein, de my counsel is correct. Monsieur Siangvandi. But that mm, is related to my third question. Et cette lecture est liée à ma troisième question. I want to asked him regarding the annotations on the sending a copy to the central zone and a copy to Brother Noon, whether this is in fact the handwriting of the accused. The president, the accused, can you respond to the three handwritten Line with the last line indicating 11 November 1777 and response to the question of the civil party. The accused, Mr. President, the 28th of October 1977 is the date written by the interrogator. Regarding the annotation, par I stopped annotating at that time because I had no time to do it. Parce que je and Brother Noon did not need my annotation at that time. This is the handwriting of my superior son Saint alias Q. That's it, 11 November 77. This is my response, Mr. President. Voilà ma réponse, Monsieur le Président. The President, can you please uh, read uh, the content of the annotation, the two lines de ces in deux lignes annotées. The accused, uh, Mr. President, uh, it is Accusé. read as uh, attention a one copy to be sent to Brother Noon to be sent to Central Zone. And that's all. That the last note was just to make sure that no one could add to the annotation except the Brother a Superior Son saying. The President of the AV unit is instructed to uh, change to the normal view and the civil party Merci. can proceed to the last question. Image normal à l'écran et j'invite la partie civile à poser sa dernière question. Mr. Singh Wendy, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur I would like Président. to put another question through the bench to the accused. Je encore poser une question à l'accusé. The accused said uh, he followed uh, the political line, the party's line, and he said he 
is a patriotic uh, person. Il a dit aussi qu'il était un patriote. How could he claim that if he only killed Khmer nationals? Il ne fait que tuer des Cambodgiens. Look, I tell you, no one even did. The accused. Uh, are you able to respond to this question? And uh, the accused can be informed that in case you would like to remain silent, si then you can exercise your silence, right to remain silent. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean that uh, whenever I refer the question to you and then you have uh, to answer, so you can still enjoy your right to remain silent. Bénéficiez toujours du droit à garder le silence. The accused, uh, Mr. President. Accusé, Monsieur le Président. I would like to reiterate that I have never claimed that I was a patriotic person. I never stated this. That's all. Merci. The President, uh, the Civil Party, would you have any further questions? Que vous avez questions que vous à Civil Party, Mr. President, I have no more questions. Monsieur Thank Serenity. you. The non, President, Monsieur the President, accused, you may be seated. The Chamber the would like to give the floor to the co-prosecutors co to put questions to the Civil Party if they so wish. Monsieur le Président, nous n'avons pas de questions Mr. à poser no à la partie civile. Nous souhaitons simplement party. le remercier We pour sa déclaration. Merci. Le Président, next, we would like to give the floor to the Defense Council que la Défense souhaite poser des questions à la partie to civile put questions to the civil party if they so wish. La Défense n'a pas de questions à poser à la partie Ms. civile, Ms. Monsieur le The Defense has no questions to put to the civil party, Mr. President. Eleni Ong Yomre. The President, uh, the Chamber would like to le now président. give the opportunity to the accused uh, to make his observation in relation to the statement uh, recently made uh, by the Civil Party, Sien Wendy. The floor is yours. The accused. Mr. President, Monsieur I would Président. like to reiterate that I agree with the statement of Mr. Singh Wan D, and that's all. Je Thank you, Mr. Dire que j'accepte la déposition de Monsieur Singh Wan D. Je vous remercie. Bon, the President, President. Uh, it is now. Coming to an end uh, in relation to the testimony, uh, the, con uh, the hearing of the civil party, and it is now also appropriate time to take the adjournment uh, because the AV officials uh, would like to make sure that they can test uh, the IT system, uh, which is uh, in hooked to the system in France so that we can hear the en civil party France, from France uh, concerning civil party Wu Taoren, who is to testify Monsieur in the afternoon session at 1.30 tomorrow. So we need uh, time for them to make sure that the technical uh, glitches can be fixed so that the hearing can be proceeded. Uh, tomorrow. We would like to adjourn the hearing now and resume the session at 9 a.m. tomorrow. We are going to hear three more civil parties, including the civil party who will be heard from France through a remote participation. 
Mr. Sien Wan Di, the chamber has already heard uh, the complete statement uh, Monsieur, of Monsieur yours, Wendy, and from now on, uh, as a civil party, you can either join the proceeding by sitting here in the reserved uh, seat uh, for the civil party, or you may go to your residence as you wish. The security personnel are now instructed to take the accused back to the detention facility and return him to the courtroom by 9 a.m. The court is adjourned. All rise.